Hi, my name is Ravi. Today I am going to show you a DIY secondary ignition probe. Actually, it cost me very little to make this panel probe. Most of materials are bought under low cost and use several recycling materials too. Okay, I will show you how it works. Here I have connected to HCOP Android version and Handtech 6074BE oscilloscope. So, today I am working on Suzuki Shift. Let's see how will be the secondary ignition on this coil on plug. Just put the inductive pickup point on the ignition coil. Look at that nice and clear secondary ignition waveform. Clearly we can see dual time, inductive kick and burn line on the waveform. I just go to the third ignition coil and let's see what's going on there. That is also indicating a good looking secondary ignition waveform. Let's change the probe onto second ignition coil. That is also indicating a correct secondary ignition pattern. But you can see burning line has lot of turbulence. Simultaneously inductive kick of KV also is very low. Definitely that cylinder has a problem but I am not going to analyze it right now. I just need to show you the ability of this DIY secondary ignition panel probe. Just look how this probe capture the secondary ignition waveform perfectly. Ok, I am going to record the waveform in automotive mode. Then I can analyze the waveform later. Anyway, I use 2 volt scale and 125 kilo sample per second settings for capture this waveform. Look at that, it has captured nice and good looking secondary ignition waveform. But still you are seeing little deformation on the waveform due to 8-bit resolution oscilloscope. However, this DIY secondary ignition probe is capturing nice and good looking secondary ignition waveform. Ok, here I am going to explain briefly how you can make this probe by yourself. First of all, I will tell you what I have used as inductive pickup point of this panel probe. Here simply I use 12 volt tiny relay which is used in electronic projects. Ok, I know this is not a new concept to use relays to make this kind of DIY secondary ignition probes. But I tried to make a handy probe with this tiny relays. Here I used the broken toy arm as a recycling material to make the handle of this probe. Two coil telephone cable and the BNC connector used as simple. Ok, here is the tiny relay which I used for my project. This tiny relay has no resistor inside like automotive relay. Therefore, we can use it right away without any modification. Next, I use this type of 2 wire hard telephone cable. Because it will bring hardness and good flexibility for the handle when we use it. And then simply we can solder these two wires onto these two pins on the relay. Next we can pour some epoxy to cover the soldered connection. Next I use this type of transparent tube to cover the wires. And then we can solder the two coil telephone cable at the other end. Next, simply you can use plastic or wooden handle to finalize the panel probe. At the end, I use this type of heat sleeve to cover and insulate the panel probe. Well insulated probe will protect your device from the high voltage heat. Ok, once again I will show you how is the secondary ignition waveform with this DIY panel probe. Nice and good looking secondary ignition waveform any longer. Anyway, I would like to say thanks Darren who is delivering the Mechanic Mindset YouTube channel. I found this relay concept for the first time from his YouTube channel. 
So, I like this handy panel prop which is work perfectly for me. Thank you for watching. Hope this video will help you.